Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Seen Beyond and Through with Monty. Right before you is an R&B singer and greatly talented lady, Miss Kiki Wyatt. Now, Kiki is in a bit of some controversy. Not anything really bad. It's just that um, what happened was that she is responding to some backlash. Backlash in which she has, has received because she revealed in a concert, in a song, that her baby, her unborn baby, in which she is carrying at the moment, has a genetic dis, uh, condition called a trisomy 13. Now, trisomy 13 is a type of chromosomal disorder characterized by having three copies of chromosome 13 in cells of the body instead of the usual two copies. This condition can be um, associated with intellectual disability, physical abnormalities. Uh, people with this condition often have congenital heart defects, brain or spinal cord abnormalities, very small or poorly developed eyes, extra fingers or toes, cleft palate in the lip. So you can see that it's a horrific genetic condition. So Kiki chose to reveal this at a live show in which she was doing. Not only did she reveal that, but she also revealed to an audience, to the audience rather, that one of her children had leukemia and she let it be known that this particular baby, and when she's carrying, as I stated before, has a genetic disorder called trisomy 3. Now, I want you to listen to Kiki Wyatt as she tells the story in a song. Okay, so you heard that. It says, Kiki Wyatt has revealed that her unborn baby has a genetic disorder, trisomy 13. Uh, the pregnant singer revealed that doctors have told her about her 11th child during an emotional performance at the city winery on March 13th, uh, 2022. Now, um, it goes on to say that Kiki was in the middle of a rendering a powerful gospel song when she began to share a bit of her story with the audience. White was first reflected on her son, uh, what is that, Riley's past battle with leukemia. I'm singing when uh, doctors told me that my son Riley had leukemia, cancer. I said, hallelujah. So basically, she was letting the audience know past things in which she've gone through with her children and present things which are coming up. Now, she received some backlash for that. And I'm sure that the backlash was because of different reasons from different angles. But I'm going to reveal to you an angle that I see 
And you're going to think that I'm one of the biggest assholes here. Because if I was in the audience, to be honest with you, I would not have wanted to hear that. And to give you some backdrop, I used to manage an artist. So I'm familiar with things like that. And had my artist, if I had a female, would have had something like that, I would have advised her not to let the audience in on that at that particular moment. And if my female singer, even if she had a dead baby inside of her, I would have told her, the audience at that particular moment do not need to know. And I'm going to explain. So I said I would tell you guys why I would not tell or advise a female singer of mine if she's going through something uh, as trying as Kiki is. You don't want to let the audience know at the moment. And I need for you to follow me very carefully. Because as of right now, we are still in the middle of talking about booster shots. And, you know, this is very controversial because some people want them, others don't. It's a very personal decision. But we're not in a very good time in the world. We have this right there. And we have a new subvariant that is rising up. So we're still dealing with the C. That's still around and probably going to be around. And we're dealing with the war in the Ukraine. And we're dealing with the situation right there where the United States could potentially be involved in this conflict. We're dealing in a situation where America, as we know it right now, could possibly not exist as we know it right now. So that's not a good state to be in. Russia warns the United States, we have the might to put you in your place. So one wrong move with this here, I feel, and it could be war. You know, so you can clearly see all the things that we are involved in. Oil prices right here going up, steadily rising. We haven't seen this high of oil, I, I mean, ever. This is something new right there that we have to deal with. So, all of this shit that we are dealing with in the world is burdensome. It's stressful. Really, I mean, it's, it's mind-altering. It's something that... <clears throat> Many people are having a tough time sleeping over. You can't even relax. The world is in such chaos at the moment. Sometimes it's not fun. It's almost like the good old times are gone. But hopefully we could just hold. Okay, so here's where I'm taking all of this here. When I go into an audience... And to sit there, to watch one of my favorite singers sing a song, or to be entertained by any singer, I do not need to be burdened with their hardships. With all this shit that is going on in the world, the war, these mandates, these jabs, sky-high oil prices, I just want to escape. I just want Kiki to give me an hour an hour and a half to forget about all of my problems. I do not want to be bogged down or given anything heavy to digest. I paid 30, 40, 50 bucks. I did not pay that money to be tormented. I did not pay that type of money to have any type of hardships thrown my way. I paid that money to just to enjoy myself. I just want to get away. That's it. Plain and simple. I know that some singers may, or famous people may say, well, it's therapeutic. Well, don't use me in that particular way. I came there to pay you. I was not told that I would be unindated or given this traumatic thing to digest. 
That's not what the audience is there for. You owe it to the audience to give them a good time. I do not need to be looking at a singer. After she has revealed that, and I'm there for another hour and a half, maybe two, to sit there and think that, oh my God, the baby that she's carrying, it has this genetic condition. They don't need to be burdened with that. I can remember being at my sister's birthday party and another sister told me and my brother a medical condition or the um, state that my mother was in. And I'm sitting up there thinking, why not allow us just to enjoy the birthday party? Don't inundate us with that right now. Tell us that when it's over. Kiki could have told this in her Instagram story. She could have told it at another time. But allow the people there to have a good time. Try to understand the state that the world is in and where people's heads are at. Timing is everything. Timing is crucial when you are wanting to reveal something of this nature. And the time to do that is not, is not at a singing engagement. Allow the people there to have a good time. She could have revealed this on her Instagram stories. If she has millions of followers, she can contact or would be in contact with more people there than millions or than the people who attended the concert. Because I'm sure that a million people did not attend that concert. She could have really, better yet, told them at the very end, thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm going through a very difficult time right now. I have trisomy 13. The baby is that I'm carrying have this condition. And I wish you to send me prayers after the show was over. That's why I say timing is so crucial. You have to know about that. So the people who gave backlash, there were different reasons as to why the back backlash was given. But I'm speaking for people who questioned her as to why she would want to do it in a concert setting when they did not go there to hear that. So I do agree with that. If she got backlash for that, hopefully it wasn't too harsh. But I can understand the backlash that she would have received for that. Because I just think that people who are going there to be entertained do not deserve that type of heaviness that is dumped upon them. And that's it. So I just think that entertainers need to understand when is the proper time to say and to reveal information and when the proper time is not. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty, and I will see you all beyond and through.